Hey, this is Shuzi. Today I have another original painting to share with you. I actually did this painting back in summer, but I only get to edit it now, and it's already fall here in Canada. Because I did the design in summer, I wanted to paint something with a beach theme. But I'm actually not a beach person. I only enjoy to stay in the shade. So I had no reference photo and had to browse the stock photo sites to find something interesting. And this one caught my eyes, and I think partly because it's in the shade. Jokes aside, I really like the simple shape of this swing chair. It's like a teardrop. I also really like the serene feel with the palm tree and a really calm sea. But in the composition, the chair is too small, so I turned it around and made it bigger to add my character. To fully convey the serene feel, I made my girl sitting elegantly in the chair. Her body is slightly tilted to one side. Her legs are positioned to balance her weight. Her slight frame, even fully seated in the chair, barely caused the chair to move. I put her left hand on the swing to make her look stable and safe. But I really don't know what to do with her right hand. So I gave her a summery drink with fruits and decorations. But it still feels like it's lacking something. So I added a cat cuddling on her legs. Now this looks pretty good but I don't like the front view. It doesn't really showcase the structure of the swing chair, which I think is super cool and I must show it. So I wanted to draw the chair at a 45 degree angle like this. But as soon as I drew this, I can see with my mind's eye that she's so mischievous and happy. She's gonna push herself off of the ground. I know I would do that. Let me show you what I mean. A swing chair is meant to be swung, right? Would you do that? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Look how happy she is. But I guess she got really hyper and maybe she has really strong legs and this is what happened. Poor little cat got left behind. All right, back to business. Although I got distracted by my thoughts and I was drawing random stuff, this gave me some great ideas. This kind of doodling gives me motivation to become better at drawing so I can illustrate whatever wacky stuff I'm thinking in my mind. This is also another reason why I respect manga artists and animators so much. So the idea I got from this is the pose. I changed it to a more dynamic one, which is what I usually prefer. I'm not so good at making serene and elegant pose, and I know that's something that I should be working on. But for this, I'm just thinking this pose works so perfectly, I'm just gonna go with my gut and keep developing this one. I like the way the mischievous girl pushed herself off of the ground, but I think the pose was too exaggerated, so I'm going to tone it down a bit. Also, I want her to show off her nice body, but she was pushing so hard, she was hunching forward. It's good for showing the motion, but not so much for showing the curve. So I changed her pose a bit to make her action more gentle, only slightly leaning forward. Next, I wanted to finish drawing her hands but I don't have the chair frame for her hands to hold on to. So I checked the perspective of the chair, making sure the structure makes sense, and then added her hands and drew each finger. So now her body is pretty much done. Next is to add clothes. You can probably guess what I'm going to add is bikini. The chair is so stylish, so I designed an asymmetrical bikini to make her look stylish as well. I added some gold rings as the connectors, while I plan to paint them gold to add some accent. Not sure if this bikini works in real life, but I think it looks great on her. And I really like simple clothes with nice cuts. At this stage, I thought I'm done, but then I realized she's missing something. I must have accidentally erased her hair when I was cleaning up the sketch before adding the clothes. But this is actually a good thing. Now that I look at the design, I think long hair fits even better. This will give me so much more freedom to do long dynamic strokes with watercolor. The chair is swinging backwards, so I drew her hair flying towards the front. Now the sketch is done, and it turns out I have two versions again. Which one do you like more? Let me know in the comment. So I just set up my painting table, and for this design, I'm planning to do a larger painting, about 16 by 20. So I have enough space to do all the backgrounds, the trees, and also the figure is big enough so I can add all the details that I wanted. 
For the color choices, because it's a tropical scene, I'm going to keep the color on the warmer side. So I'm using quinacridone gold, coral, undersea green, and phthalo blue. I sometimes start with the paper flat on the table because I want to use a lot of water. But for this one, I don't plan to use tons of water, so I'm going to start with the upright position. So let's start! The girl and the swing chair are the focus of the painting. So I paint the leaves loosely, like they're out of focus. Similarly, I use broad and loose strokes for the C, painting all the way to the opening of the chair. Then I quickly move on to the chair. I'm adding yellow to the blue section. This is because the chair is made with rattan, you can actually see the C through the gaps. I flip the paper to the side to paint the beach, so I can get some natural lines. While waiting for the background to dry, I move on to her skin. I first lay down a wash of light skin tone, then I'm adding stronger, redder tones to make her more lifelike. I keep moving down on her body using the same process. At the same time, I'm leaving highlights to convey the sunshine on the beach. Next is her hair. I'm using diluted coral to put down a wash to describe the general shape of the hair. Whenever I can, I use the thin tip of the brush to paint a few flowy strands. For the long strands, I'm using the strokes to draw the hair. With different pressure applied to the paper and different amount of paint on the brush, I can make each stroke look like a strand of hair, giving the natural look of the hair carried by the breeze. For her eyes, I first put down a really strong and bright green at the top, then I use bright yellow at the bottom to make them really pop. This rigor brush is really good for details. I use it to paint her eyelashes in black, and then the inside of her mouth with a dark purplish red. I want to keep this painting loose, so instead of painting each piece of the rattan, I'm drawing random thin lines to create the look of the rattan. For her bikini, I want something simple and striking, so I decided to use black. Watercolor is hard to fix, so I'm being really careful here, painting very slowly, trying not to get any black on her skin. For the cushion, I'm using a diluted navy color to add shadows. Now, the painting is 90% done. I'm using strong colors to add a few strands of her hair, painting her nails with the same bright green as her eye color, and also adding some highlights. So here's the finished painting. I usually keep the background simple to make the character the focus, but this time I added the trees, beach, and the swing chair. I'm really happy with the results. I need to practice landscape painting more so I can make the backgrounds even better. I got so much to learn, so let's get to it.